Okay, hi there Nadine. Um, yeah, just here's a little refresher on how to copy those files. You simply, it's pretty darn easy. We need to go to your um, your uh, Inca directory where the files live. So this is after you've made the changes of course to the customer files. So we know that it's in your hard drive someplace. In your case it's a file called Silverline Tools. I see it's not being backed up. Oh, I'll have to change that. See how there's no green dot. It, we have a. We must have made a temporary and not changed the. Uh, so I'll fix that when I'm done. So we go into Silverline Tools. You can see if we go date modified. Let's see if this is a current data set. Um, so you've been working on this as recently as 10:21, which is a few days ago. Okay, good. October 21st. Okay, so this is current. So I'm going to organize by name, click on any file once just to highlight it, and I'm going to click the um, it's a it's a customer file. So I'm going to hit the letter C just to get me down to the C's. Once I'm on the C's, I'm going to looking for oh went too far. I'm looking for the three cust files. So you see here, there's this cust. I'm holding my control key and clicking my left mouse and this cust and this cust. So I want to right click them and go send to three and a half floppy. So if you've got a three and a half floppy in your drive and you click this, it's going to send a copy of those cust files to your floppy disk. Now when you get to the uh, other side of the coin, so you've got the floppy disk now and you put it in one of the other computers. Um, you just did the opposite. You browse your way instead to the <coughs> the A drive. In this, in, uh, it's usually labeled in most computers, but you know, it usually has a little picture of a floppy. And once we're there, of course, there's no floppy in this computer. But once we're there, you just do the same thing. You highlight those three files, but instead, the difference being, you don't do a send to. You right-click them and copy. Then you browse your way to the Inca folder on the floppy, which of course will either be called Inca or Silverline Tools. And then you just right click anywhere is in La La Land there and go paste. When you do that it's going to give you a, a warning message saying that they already exist which it didn't. Why well, didn't it? Not always, I guess. Just because I'm, I'm copying from myself onto myself. So, oh, it's going to have created copies. Yeah, just because I've just done it in the same directory. But in your case, it will give a, an overwrite message. It'll say, is it okay to overwrite these files? And you're going to, of course, say yes. So I'm going to delete these because they're just copies. So I hope that makes sense. Any questions, call me and I'll log on and give you a hand with it. And uh, have a great day. We'll talk to you later.